the uh, text that we've been looking at um, in the in the heart of chapter 4 of Ephesians verse 11 through 16 we've said does three things it shows us about our own spiritual development or spiritual growth that we're chosen for that God chose you and he wants to complete the work that he's begun in you so God's chosen you and he's going to complete this work what is the work how's he going to do it well he's given us resources for spiritual development or spiritual growth and that's Christ himself in verse 11 Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and teachers. Those are the resources for spiritual growth. It's within the body of Christ. God's given us what we need to find the mentors we need, the examples we need uh, through, through them and through the teaching of the scriptures. That's what all of those people do is help illumine our minds, open our minds to the truth of the scriptures. The resources for spiritual growth. The responsibility for spiritual growth lands squarely on us to step up for preparation and step out for participation. And then we have the results of spiritual growth. I love this. Verses 14 through 16 give us the results of spiritual growth. Let me, let's point, what, point out what they are. I'll tell you what they are, then we'll look at the passage. The first one is protection from, uh, protection from youthful naivety. Protection from immature impulsivity. Protection from selfish irresponsibility three things in the text that whenever we engage in spiritual development we take responsibility to be prepared and participate it protects us from uh, youthful naivety immature impulsivity and selfish irresponsibility here's the text then the result of resources and responsibility Verse 14, then you will no longer be infants, tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of men and their deceitful scheming. Instead, verse 15, so the first one, that, that uh, youthful naivety, I'm just tossed all over by the teaching that I hear from all these different sources. The second benefit of result of spiritual growth is protection from immature impulsivity instead instead of being all over the place instead speaking the truth in love when I'm all over the place I'm not going to speak the truth in love I might speak the truth in brutality but I'm not going to speak the truth in love because maturity refines my ability to know what to do with even truth truth can be used as a weapon against someone how do you know whether or not you're speaking the truth in love if the motivation is to build up and not tear down that's how you know and whenever you have impul immature impulsivity, you'll say anything. You, when, I'm, when I'm immature, uh, I, will, I will believe anything. When I'm immature, I'll say anything. And so the second protection is from immature impulsivity. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become, in every respect, the mature body <coughs> of him who's the head, that is Christ. Powerful, powerful result of spiritual growth. The third result of spiritual growth is in verse 16. From him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love, listen to this last phrase, as each part does its work. Selfish irresponsibility will not only believe anything, say anything, it'll skip anything. It'll skip going to work. It will skip morning devotions. It will skip taking its mind, its thoughts captive. It'll skip opportunities to do good. It'll skip opportunities to share with others. Selfish irresponsibility will skip anything, but mature responsibility. Um, growing believers don't skip opportunities to do good. They don't skip daily connection to God and His Word. They don't skip worshiping together. Today, today recognize the benefits to spiritual growth. It can protect you. It can protect you from youthful naivety. It can protect you from immature impulsivity. You'll say anything. It can protect you from selfish irresponsibility take the time today 
to prepare a little more and to participate a little more and you will find not only you but those around you being built up and not torn down. I will see you this week. God bless you. May God's Spirit empower you to step up and step out. In Jesus' name, amen.